Yeah, um, then, uh, as it was getting dark, uh, they basically, she spotted a, uh, uh, a light, or a group of lights over this way, and figured it was a village, uh, show, uh, as they approached the island, they sort of hit a, a coral sort of outcropping that damaged... Oh, oh, the boat. The boat is the Baga, which is mostly crewed by uh, humans and dwarves. Mostly dwarves. Like, the captain is, is dwarf. Um, the thing that makes it weird is that it has sort of like a water wheel underneath. Like, underneath where you can't see... There's like a like a paddle wheel, like a friggin' riverboat. So instead of like rowing or just being stuck when the wind dies down, people paddle. <laughs> it's a paddle boat. Uh, yeah, but it's underneath. If if you look on the side, it just looks like it just looks like there are weird bulges on the side of the ship. You can't actually see the paddle wheel from outside. I forget, wasn't it like June? Do you remember any of that there? Yeah. Bah? Yeah. Y yeah, you remember it? Yeah, it was June or? or yes, yeah, it was June. Yeah, you're here. <laughs> All of the above. And apparently you just went live. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep, there it is. Uh, uh, sixth month, 13th day. Uh, 14th day. Um, Right, so uh, paddle, paddle boat was damaged. The wheel was damaged. Didn't have what they needed to fix it, So, uh, but uh, they were also like a good five miles on the other side of the island. Um, then the illustrious leader was like, I'm going to bed. And so uh, six red shirts went out and uh, disappeared into the night. And then the next day, he, had, he actually had to go and find the village and uh, found out they were all in a pit uh, somewhere on the menu for them. So had to trade some, uh, had to trade a cow and uh, a couple of chickens to get them back. Who were no, they? That's who had right, them I that. Um, it was a village. It was like a like a Viking -y village. Creepy. Yeah, just uh. Yeah, that's sort of what the uh, village looked like. Just sort of like a big ha big long house surrounded by a palisade up on a little ridge and then a little bit lower there was another palisade surrounding a couple of huts and a prisoner pit that's where that's where you guys were and then uh like follow trail down to the shore and there's just a bunch of huts there too just a little thing very sort of vikingy um a couple of things found out uh, apparently, if you uh, attack somebody here and lose, uh, you, you sort of forfeit your freeness. <laughs> and also, uh, there is said to be some sort of sto uh, stone obelisks that come out of the water. And it's some sort of rite of passage to climb to the, to sail out there and climb to the top of them. Personally, I hate when I lose my freeness. Yeah, so just don't make a habit of attacking people and then losing. That's... Oh, um, do we still have both the Yeti and the uh, Goblin? Yeah. Okay, there's Goblin. Sam! Oh, Goblin. Sam, are you here? He 
Either he's asleep or muted. Uh, you forgot drunk. Yeah, well, we know drunk. we know he's that, but the unusual thing is muted or asleep. Uh, all right. Well, the goblin, anyway. Um, you and the Yeti are have been stuck on this island for way too long. I don't know whether you guys were kicked out of your respective tribes or just ran away looking for greener pastures, but basically you've landed on this rocky island where there's nothing but, like, humans that will attack you on sight and these weird, tough, goat-sheep things with long legs. All right. Hmm. Now I was taking them to the boat, wasn't I? Uh, were so they're they're some of the prisoners that are in the pit. <laughs> not not the goblin and the yeti. Oh. I mean, I'd rather not be in a pit. <laughs> oh my god! Does does your goblin play any instruments? Uh, he can, he, he has a, uh, harmonica he can very half-assedly play. Okay, yeah, um, uh, uh, um, wow. um the, the, uh, B Boris challenged the, uh, the clan leader to a drinking contest and totally kicked his ass. Um, got, he got way more drunk than Boris did and basically gave away some musicians. So I'm going to say that the goblin was one of the musicians. <laughs> totally. Uh, they wanted to get rid of him anyways. It's terrible. Uh, it was just one of those things like, uh, I, love, I love you guys so much. Hey, you want musicians? And then he's just like, hey, you go with them now. And he's like, now they're yours. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, we got the materials to fix the ship, sort of had to wait around until the next day uh, to actually make the repairs. But where we left off was there's a functional ship and most of the place you, you guys haven't explored yet. So did they release the prisoners after I gave them the cow and the pigs and the chicken? Yeah, that was that was last time. Don't you remember they they stayed there and helped make the replacement part and then carried oh, it that's right. carried it all the way back. So Basically, I think we should set sail now. Hmm? We should set sail now. Uh, where are you selling to? Um, we need to go... Oh, that's right. We need to go on the north side of the island. Mm-hmm. Okay, um... I actually did work this out. Uh, it is not hot yet. Uh, wind is from the southeast. Or is it going to the southeast? It should be coming from the southeast, so that way it's going northwest, the direction I want to go. Okay, but if it says it's northward wind, that means it's going south? If it's n northward wind... From the south, it's going north. 
Okay, well then that also means that southeast wind means it's coming from the southeast. Yeah. We're going... <sighs> coming from the northwest to the southeast. Dang it. Uh, it's about noon. Um, wind is going this way, so basically exactly working against you. Who's typing right, and, and I, what are we typing? I'm typing. Don't worry about it. Can I help type? Will it, will it help the typing stop sooner? I don't know what's wrong with this keyboard. It won't stay still. Maybe because it's made out of plastic? Oh. Get out. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I really don't know that spell. You might not even know that it exists. Hard to tell. So we're heading north. Mm -hmm. Well, the wind is going against us. It's true. That, even for my goblin mind, that seems a little uh, less than intelligent. <laughs> So what, so if I was basically given to them, what, like, what is my, like, status right now? Am I just a, they don't know what to do with me, or am I like a... Yeah, technically... I'm a slave? Te te technically, <laughs> you kind of belong to Boris, but uh, he doesn't seem yeah. to know, yeah. he, does, he doesn't seem to know how like to handle that. He's just, like, uh, been ignoring you, so... Right. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, so... I mean, I guess that's kind of like you would be a slave if anyone gave a shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Haven't done anything wrong, so why would they care? Okay, um, the captain, who is a, a lady dwarf named Captain Viol, uh, would absolutely want to make sure that you, you, you're sure you want to head northeast. Yes. Because with the wind working against you, you're going to have to paddle, and uh, paddling, you're basically going to move one of these hexes every, like, hour and a bit. Uh, you say this you're like you think I'm going to be doing it. No. Valid point. That um, seems more urban work to me. The yep. point is, it's, it's going to take a lot longer going against the wind than it did yesterday. Okay. If there's no change, um, basically... Let's see. Let's see. We go in a little bit and back out. Okay. So, I mean, you sort of come around, come around the island, it's, uh, it's about three, f 
about 3.30 or so by the time you get to about here. But you feel like you've seen a lot of this island. <laughs> Tappa. Um, tappa, so tappa, tappa. it, hey, I don't have control of the bolt. Is that a question? Uh, can I have control of the boat? Mm. I want to go here. Just up one? Yeah, and then find a place to to kind of fish, dock, and then start exploring that area. Just the top of this island. North east. That's where they told me to go. I uh, you most of what you just said got cut out. Uh, that's where they told told me to go, and so um. That's where I'm going. Also, I forget why I'm supposed to go here, but I know I'm supposed to go here. He said toad. Fuck you. I'm tired. <laughs> this is where they frogged me to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you want to sail in to this island here that you've already been on. Oh, there's another island. There's a lot more. Did we go to the next one? Like, I'm asking everybody that. Should, should we? Where did they tell us to go? Uh, northeast. Well, if we've already been to the one island, why don't we go to the next island? Sounds good. I feel like somebody's played the go over there and look at stuff game before. Uh. Okay, um, do you want to stick to the east side, or? How dare you? Um, yeah, let's stay to the east. Oh, okay. Um. Jeez. There's another hour. You'd be around six by now. Because you guys couldn't set out until about noon. Um, if you're still going north be about 7.30 by the time you get to there. Okay. Let's find a spot around here. Is there a reason? No, no reason. Because I said so. I don't know why my guy is spamming his thaco every time, but okay. Uh, you have to tell it not to do that. I'm gonna do that. Um. All right, why not? There we go. Um, would you maybe like to make a notice roll or something? Or I would will. You, would, you, would you just like to sit down and start walking around obliviously? <laughs> well, a little of both. Uh, do I have a notice button? I do not know. I think I remember setting up a notice button, but... Mm, button, button, button... Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm trying to say but. Mm. Yeah, got it. So I should roll under a 43. Uh, 
Yay! I see stuff. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. So, a ways off to the southwest, there appears to be lights coming on. And not like southwest, like all the way down here. I'm talking like around here. Uh, there's also lights coming on somewhere up this way. And those are actually clearer than the lights down this way. I point out the lights. Okay. Your fearless leader points at a spot in the distance and goes, Pretty! <laughs> Such no? a smart boy. Is that, is that not what, what you meant? What is she trying to frog us? Hush. She told you about pretty lights. Fuck you both! Damn! Y'all are just picking on me for no reason. Uh, no, because it's fun. Oh, there's a reason. No, it's not fun. It's terrible. It's not why I was doing it. I mean, that's why I do it. I was doing it. I just had pure malice. Mm-hmm. Oh. See, I don't even know Alice, so... Shit. Pretty, pretty nice person. It's just because it was it was fun. I don't... Depends on what the Dormouse said. What did... uh? Where saves that? Sorry, I'm, I'm almost... <laughs> I am streaming my very basic image editing on Twitch. That's interesting, right? Yes. Oh. That's, that's what the kids watch. Oh, look at him export that image. Oh. Uh. All right, um, all right, a uh, couple different spots where there are lights coming on. Uh, to your illusionist, what is your perception plus, uh, pfft, your intelligence plus wisdom plus 20? Forty-nine. So roll D one hundred. Try to get forty-nine or under. You are pretty sure that you're on a boat. <laughs> oh. I'm on a boat, motherfucker, don't you ever forget. Uh, I mean... Is he even sure about that? Not 100% sure, but you're pretty sure you're on a boat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we're on a boat. We're on a boat. Buddy, look at me. That boat. Is there anything I can do in this situation? My ability to speak with fish is of no help in this situation. <laughs> yes, exactly. I can do that, but... <laughs> one help. I can do that, but pff, whatever, man. That's so, <laughs> like... That's so, like... Basic. Too, like, so I'm like, on to some next shit now. Like, you won't even... Air, you, like, like, you won't even believe the shit that it's I can do start now. Talking about, if you use that voice, you have to start talking about quinoa. <laughs> uh, he calls quinoa. it quinoa. <laughs> 
Quinoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Quinoa? <laughs> and he's made this whole backstory of it like it's a village or a country. The nation of Quinoa will not be insulted. Yeah. See? Exactly. Quinoa yeah. forever! I'm actually half Quinoan, so. I'm one sixteenth Quinoan. <laughs> I find your grains to be appropriation. But I. <laughs> <laughs> My culture is not your oatmeal. Wait, so, so I'm not the only one that says oatmeal for or Oriental? Okay, I guess I'm I am. sorry. What? I, I, Can you say that again? <laughs> well, my sister and I had this thing where, like, if someone made, like, uh, a joke or an error about, you know, a Chinese person being Korean or something like that, like, we would say, oh, he made some kind of Oriental. <sighs> And for some reason, one day it got changed to some kind of oatmeal. Not sure how. You're asking if you're the only one that does that. Yes. I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> okay. Just checking. Quinoa Liberation Front. Yes. ULF. <laughs> That's why I'm here. The Quinoans will be free. A dream of Quinoans. a day when all Quinoans can live in peace. Terror at the Central Capital train station day as Quinoan separatists released a series of high quality, high protein meals into the <laughs> water supply. <laughs> Police say the rioting has subsided somewhat. Emergency workers have been bringing in brown sugar all day. <laughs> Is that what you mix them with quinoa? Uh, no. Usually, Sausage. it's usually I do like a Mexican thing, but that's that's neither here. Did okay. we just blow like ten minutes talking about quinoa? Mm. Yeah. Oh, you mean Quinoa? It was about five minutes. <laughs> but yeah. So, um, you just have to take your word for it that uh, there's a, a clearer light up this way. There's smaller lights that way. How can you not see it? It's right there. He's like staring at his feet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, if the goblin wants to do it, overrated. the world's an illusion, and he like waves his fingers in a very impressive sort of. Uh, goblin, yeah. your your perception visual thing is uh, forty five. So roll a d one hundred. Try to get forty five or under to you know notice things. 29? Yeah, you see it. Just like uh, a series of lights here. Uh, some bigger lights here. Like. <laughs> I, I think your goblin is malfunctioning. <laughs> yeah. Heard about these ones, the lights that appear. <sighs> never look them. Never look at them too long, or else you are a goner. Oh. I'm looking at them right now. She's she too says, far gone. We have to leave. She says <laughs> as she starts floating into the air. <laughs> I'm exactly. Donald Trump staring directly into a solar eclipse. Oh, it's super bad for your eyes. 
Yeah. And the goblin knows. Dude, the know. goblin knows. Exactly. So, but our president didn't. <laughs> um, you know, this, the goblin the difference? System isn't really renowned. I, I can't say anything. I'm Canadian. Yeah, you got the good one that's hot. I mean, he's pretty trash, but I mean, sure, he's a little attractive. A little, please. <laughs> but but he, elects, he elects important officials based on what year it is. <laughs> hey, that's fine. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Totally Are you fine. telling me it is not, in fact, the previous year, but it is now current year? <laughs> what? That's he means that like the whole equal number of women as men in in his yeah. cabinet. He uh he hired a bunch of women, um not because they were good or the right person, but because it was current year. I'm well, sure. I don't know about my cabinet, but I like to keep Fine. a pretty equal number of men and women in my basement. Oh my god! I mean. <laughs> How else are you going to guarantee future generations? Perfectly balanced in all things. He reminds me of that YouTube guy. Do you, do you remember the one who reviews movies, but then just randomly flashes in pictures of women he keeps in the basement? Nice Poseidon. Uh... Are you guys heading to any lights, or are you just going to crash yourself into this island here? Just, just crash. Just crash. What lights? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, shine your lights. Better reward. More people. Therefore, dimmer lights. Less reward. Less risk. Better option. Probably right. <laughs> <laughs> so, if anyone cares about the goblin's opinion, I say go we back don't. south. Exactly. Nobody cares about the goblin's um, the, opinion. The, the brighter one is up here. The weaker one's here. Really your option. Yeah. Nobody's gonna listen to a goblin. Make a song about stuff. I'm making songs about stuff now. Is that the same process you went through for your actual songs? Sure. start drifting off the edge of the world. Are you playing your guitar? I'm singing songs. This is a song I'm singing. Oh. That was beautiful. <laughs> I, I don't know how to play. Number one jam. Number <laughs> one jam. <laughs> oh, yes. I think both of you are a little rusty. <laughs> Grant, you getting in on this? Sorry. Jamming out.
<laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. I don't... <laughs> yes. Yes, very much. Um, so which way are we going? Whatever way takes us away from that awful harmonica noise. I mean, I'm still in the boat, so it's never going the away. Harmonica noise. Yeah. Um, I was the best in the village. Okay, so, Chris, where were we? Where were we told to go? Was it north? This this island we're um, circling around now. Basically, northeast. They they know there are lands here, and they were just like, go west, see what's there, document it, and bring that back. So but the circle tribal, around the island and head west then, right? The, the tribal people told me to go northeast. Oh, uh, Weren't yeah. they going to eat us, though? Why are we yeah. listening to them? Because um, we don't have anything else better to do? Uh, what they said was directly northwest of their village is where it was. Uh, you have been going northeast all day. Oh! So Maybe maybe it was northwest, guys. I'm not really good with directions. That's it's a good okay. thing you're in charge. <laughs> let's, head, uh, let's, let's cut between those two islands and head the opposite direction. Then we can see, you know, we can sort of peep if there's anything out there. Peep. He said peep. Hee <laughs> hee. So, uh, peep. peep. This. <laughs> Right, so we're going west. These islands or these islands? Ugh, roll 20. I can be a DM if I want to. I don't have to be a GM. Okay, uh, yeah, you're going, you're talking, go north, go south. There, there are basically two sets of islands you could cut between. <laughs> Exactly. Which one? Option A. Uh, we're, we're closer to the north side. The one you just highlighted. That's what I'm saying. Let's not double back. Let's just take a left. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So this would be around eight. Uh. Let's see. Okay, um, another thing about this boat is uh, part of the reason it was chosen, there's the whole paddle wheel thing, so you're never stuck in doldrums. Uh, another thing is it's sort of well known for its navigator, who's just this sort of tall, thin human who wa walks around looking busy constantly. Even when there's nothing going on, he just sort of walks around looking worried and busy. But... Uh, basically, you guys are all stationed around the edge of the ship, and uh, he is telling you to try and look out for uh, like outcroppings and rocks in the water and stuff. Because uh, you've already crashed once. I mean, that was crash. It was like a fender bender. Yeah, I don't know. When you break your secondary means of locomotion, that sounds like a crash. Yeah, it sounds like it. So, um, everybody roll your notice checks. Famous before. Ooh. I made it this time. Ooh. Yeah. Nope. Ah. Okay. I mean, I can see in the dark, but... Um, yeah, you guys uh, spend a good hour and a half as it gets darker and darker. I mean, it is summer, so days are longer, so it takes a while for it to get dark. Um, you spend a good hour and a half as it gets darker and darker, just sort of like calling out rock outcroppings and stuff. Um... The goblin, your your helmet sort of falls over your eyes, and and you pull it up, and you don't kind of notice the one that scrapes along the side. 
uh, you hear panicking chickens and cows, but you know it's not catastrophic, just damage. <laughs> just damage, who cares? Yeah, it's all it's all racism, I tell you. Well, I mean, let me look. You you sort of. You sort of let a hole get punched into the deck that has the livestock on it. So but, I'm like, I'm like on deck, and I'm like elbowing the person next to me, and I'm like, dwarven craftsmanship, am I right? It's clearly a dwarf. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh, completely God. oblivious. Um. I would say a, a tall, red-haired human sort of stomps up, completely soaking wet, and asks what what the hell's going on up here? What? Big rock, slow boat. My question. <laughs> That's all he says. Hey. Are you turned around and talking into the sofa? Is that... No. <laughs> Ask if she was hot. The tall redheaded guy who doesn't want to do anything and made a oh. hammock under a cow. Is he hot? Not especially. Listen, Liam. Can I call you Liam? I'm gonna call you Liam. <laughs> the important thing is not what is happening, right? But what is happening beneath what is happening. And I waggle my fingers again. <laughs> Illusions! Boom. Yeah, uh, he, he just kind of rubs his temples. It's just... Uh... I okay. elbow the dwarf next to me again and I go, humans, am I right? Oh. Uh, am I right? Uh, he breaks a nearby pot. Uh, you can't tell whether it's in celebration, agreement, or uh, disgust. All three? Alright, so that was about eight, nine by the time you got out of there. So, ten, eleven or so. Yeah. So you guys would just keep following the bright light? Bright light! I keep can. following Gizmo. One listens to the goblin. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, you guys at around midnight uh, pull into uh, what is obviously mostly just a fortress, just like a castle. Um, your approach would would draw some attention. Probably not as much as you'd expect to draw. Um, how you guys go about, I mean, uh, the, you'd have to park a little ways out and take smaller boats in. Down we do. and um, hmm. okay. So yeah, um, uh, there would be a few uh, fishermen's huts, that kind of thing, set up around the shore. 
Um, no real significant peers or anything. And uh, the castle, as usual, would sort of be on top of this little hill. But it is an actual castle. It's like a... Uh, whatever you call it. What do you call it? I don't know. Yeah, I guess it would be. Keep is just... Look like it's for like military use, or is it like people live in there? Or kind of both. It seems to be sort of a combination, but uh, it's most definitely like a castle for for not dying. <laughs> That's what they're used for, yeah. Living and not dying. Trying to find like what the different kinds are. Depends. I must have decided to go to bed finally. Oh, did Sam leave? Yeah. <laughs> oh crap. Um the saves are in the DMG for winning. Thank you. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I will say there's like a, it's one of those type things where most of the important rooms are built into the walls, um, and then there's a little courtyard in the middle. Oh, okay, yeah. Goblin know the difference? I don't know. Uh, maybe? Pretty impressive, uh, goblin forts, you know? Hmm. It's actually the third cousin twice removed of the former... No. <laughs> no. I've got a pretty high gonna... intelligence. Can I, like, check the history and see if that's something that I would recognize, who made it? Oh, man. I mean, seeing as how you're, you're the first people from your continent to come over here, I don't know how much help history is going to be. Well, my argument would be, yeah, but, you know, I'm I'm assuming that, like, dwarven stuff looks like dwarven. I mean, dwarven mm -hmm. stuff looks like dwarven stuff. Elven stuff looks like elven stuff. I mean, is it is it an actual castle or is it, like, a hut with spikes on it? Oh, it's definitely a castle. Uh, it oh, seems goblins. to be focused on, like, a tower. But the tower itself would only be, like, th three, four stories tall. Hmm. Is there any activity? Any movement? Any people? Um, yeah. I mean, uh, your sort of uh, pulling up and landing would bring a lot of attention. What's the... I mean, are they humans? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do they look hostile? Uh, you don't see anything but humans. Uh, do they look like soldiers? Or are they just, you know, people um, coming out? The ones that are standing on the shore uh, just look like people in their pajamas. Uh, uh, whereas... Uh, people in the castle haven't come out. They have uh, sort of gathered on the walls. Do they wear footies? The people in pajamas? Uh, naturally. <laughs> I think these guys are cool. The humans, probably. <laughs> if they've ever seen a goblin. I think the goblin wears footy, but 
obviously, it complements his red hair. Yeah. <laughs> and it zips up and... No, 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 button, button flap. <laughs> there. That's sort of a, a outline of where you guys are. And the castle would be castle would be there. It's just a little ways. It's it's not directly on the shore, but it's it's on the shore. <laughs> Is there a dock, or do we have to take, like, the dinghy in? Yeah, no, you have to take the, the little ship in. And uh, All right, let's from, from what it looks like, the people are gathering, waiting to see if you're about to charge them, or what. Save a lot, and also any... Wow, that was <laughs> unintelligible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, god damn it. I heard okay. Ave Is that better? Many. Okay. Uh, anytime that I have the opportunity, to, I'm going to. And we wave a lot. Is is that is that just me? Did no, everybody... no, it's came up for me. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what we heard was anytime that I get a chance, then I'm going oh, to. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Are you Let saying me... wave? You're gonna wave to uh, to them as much as you can. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna stay at the back because I'm a goblin. Okay. Let me so... use uh, my cantrips. Mm. A, A, to make a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that's not like a as, declaration as, of war? The rainbow is it's you know it's. Friendly, it's Pride Month. Give me a break. Okay, let me do this. I'm gonna make it look like I'm gonna make it look like rainbows are shooting out of Chris's character's hand when she waves. Like there's <laughs> rainbows track. Thank you. I'd be even more terrified if I was them. <laughs> Oh, it might be because it's not connect it's not recognizing the um snowball. So you you've been using the built in mic all this time? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to get it to see the mic the the Snowball, but it's not so far. <sighs> Just to maybe if we surround you with enough like dancing lights and rainbows, I'm like, oh no, it's Estelopaca. Alright, um, I have put a macro button on there for T100 tests. All I have to do is put in the target number. Uh, you have a minus 25 to everything you do, so basically... I'll just continue to do it like I've been doing it. Or I guess it'd That's be fine. a plus 25, right? Yeah. I'm just saying, let's just, I'll just, I'll just do what I've been doing for notice and stuff. I'll just roll a D100. It's not that onerous to just check. He's using big words again.
fancy and lights. Why don't we just don't murder all of them? Goblin says internally. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this shouldn't be possible. <laughs> Fifteen times. <laughs> the aliens from Independence Day are sending in their countdown signal. Oh god. <laughs> no bees. No bees. They're gonna kill the guy who played Data. No. No, Mr. Spider, get out of there. Spider, get out of the room. I feel like she doesn't realize she's, uh, succeeded yet. Yay! I'm still trying to get my mic to work. Kinda hoping they'd attack us. Yeah. Huh. I'm trying to figure it out. Mute yourself. Okay. Oh, it's done. Okay, is that better? Hey. Hi, Chris. Hi. Oh, I closed out of roll 20. Oops. Let me just reopen this. There we go. Ooh, that picks up sound really easily now. I need to adjust that. That worked. Boop. What the fuck is that noise? I think that's 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 our ground one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. My ears. 
I mean, you, that you have some talent. You should keep going with that. <laughs> no, I have no talent in this. I don't even know how to play. I just kind of blow in. Hope for I the best. You figured it out. Don't know how loud it gets. So. I might fall asleep soon. <sighs> Early. And I'm back. Ooh. So what did you roll? And what is that minus 25? That's not. I didn't roll anything. Oh. Uh, what am I supposed to roll? Ah. Uh, we never. We never said that. <laughs> Intelligence. Oh. Uh. Okay. Well, if we're just if we're just doing the. Um, if we're just doing the regular spell casting I, system, um. It's, uh, there's an exchange rate for spell slots that's, uh, four cantrips to every spell slot. Oh, God, I'm doing math. Um, what's the other way? <laughs> uh, well, like I keep saying, I, I converted all those DCs into percentages, so it would be roll a D100, apply your bonus, and then try to roll under it. What's the DC? Uh, for cantrip would be 75 or lower. So it literally can't fail. Yeah. Woo. Yo. As the, as the, as Chris's character sort of waves, uh, you know, the light spectrum bends around her hand and it's like a, it's like a rainbow going back Imagination. and Imagination. Also. Yeah. I take every opportunity to say the word dinghy. Say the word what? I think she said penis. Well, oh. that too, but I mean, I just do that naturally. Dinghy. Dinghy, dinghy. Dinghy, dinghy. Dinghy, dinghy. dinghy. dinghy yeah. wonder why Sam left. I don't. Oh, uh... He was drunk. I mean, was he? Uh, usually. I just, honestly, I don't know. I just assume. Like, yeah, I mean, it's, this is his night to go out, and it's really late, so he usually goes out and then plays. Yeah, he usually, he's like, usually shows up and just gotten back from somewhere. Somewhere with alcohol. <laughs> All right. Lucky bastard. Right. In the UK is everywhere. Yep. Okay, so who is. You guys are in a dinghy. Dinghy, dinghy, dinghy. Uh, who's going to be talking? Um, I feel like that's my job since I'm the leader of this. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think obviously the right choice is the goblin. So, uh, on your character sheet, there should be something that says react. I lost somebody. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, everybody was uh, muted for saying it. And also I Kung Fu fighting. Yeah. So I should <laughs> that was uh, given. roll a react score? React thingy? There. I reacted good. Do I also need to react? An echo. Yeah. Wait, my react is nothing. Do I just, just click, click, click it? 
what are we what are we re reacting to what are we reacting to oh, oh. reacting to I mean, if you didn't see it the first time. I think that's that's normally to what? see how other NPCs react to you. Oh, all right. Oh, so they reacted well to us. Ish. So, can he not hear what we're saying? I, don't I think have so. no idea. Nope, still don't he know. just knows we're talking. Hold on, yeah, pretty it. much. Mac phone. Uh, I can't hear you. I just playing. Oh, wait, there y'all are. All oh, y'alls. Can, can somebody say something? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, my mic accidentally got unplugged, and for some reason now I can't get both OBS and myself to hear it. Seems to be. Seems to be an either or situation at the moment. Monkeys? Damn. Da -da 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 I mean, they had to react positively to me, right? I got the lowest percent. Depends on what the DC was. There's modifiers based on, like, your race and whatever, so... Yeah, and okay. you're goblin, so... You, like, they're human, and... what I This is one of my favorite parts of uh, of D&D, &D, so is that there are... There's a racial references chart. So, like... It tells you, oh, half orcs. Wow, they hate dwarves. Huh? Yeah, captain's dwarf. Uh, humans aren't a big fan. Can everybody hear me? All right, um, react, Boris, Boris, that's 36%. Hmm. Seal. Seal. Yeah. I'm gonna say you get a you guys get a nice contingent of uh, soldiery types who just sort of march out and uh, they just sort of march out and and demand that you not. Yeah, so so there's just like uh, an older guy who's obviously older even underneath the armor just sort of uh, steps forward and, and announces that you have reached, uh, well, no, not what you've reached. It's more like, uh, 
on behalf of King Ragnar uh, of Castle Taldeen, uh, you are hereby ordered uh, just just to not. Just just don't. You, you, you took you took a chicken on a dinghy. It's a chicken dinghy. Oh, goodness. Well, okay, um, there are several dozen of these guys that came out here. Uh, you're not entirely sure why. In fact, you're pretty sure some of the guys in the very, very back are, are actually sitting down. Uh, but the old guy is sort of uh, trying to be as officious as possible and just... just kind of looks at your chicken and goes, I... Uh, yes. So, uh... You got rid of your, your chicken. N now, now you now you go right. So, the thing. We seek to do great harm. Yeah, probably. You know, I think with these Viking-y type guys, that probably would help. Okay, um, I guess he, uh, the old guy and the, uh, about a good dozen of, of the guys sort of stomp up back up to the castle and disappear for a good 20, 30 minutes. You can tell that a good half of the two dozen left behind are just sort of sitting on the grass. <laughs> so... Super, uh, probably.
Hmm. Don't give away the trick. A trick is something a whore does for money. Or candy. <laughs> or candy. Okay, um... <laughs> that is that is even worse <laughs> yes well frogs lie Okay, um, he comes back out, he comes back out, uh, by himself, uh, there's, like, maybe two people flanking him, two guards, uh, these guards, by the way, they're just sort of, uh, padded or leather, just sort of really basic armor, just sort of stomp around and look mean, no, not that cool. Uh, you probably are good four or five. And then maybe, maybe not even, you might not even go down then. Okay, so, uh, old guy. Uh, old guy comes back looking a little too pleased with himself. Um, says that, uh, uh, Ragnar's agreed to an audience. Uh, thanks to your generous gift. Uh, it entertained his dogs for a whole three seconds. At which point he would bring out just the legs and, like, torn bloody flesh. Uh, yeah, he, 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 he wants to give you back the legs. I assume you eat them. Yeah. And when I say legs, I don't mean like thighs. I mean like the bony scaly chicken feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he, he brought them back apparently to try and gross you guys out and you immediately eat them. So... <laughs> um uh your the old guy says uh he has agreed to your audience uh idea because of the gift and of course provided you uh succeed in your uh feat your uh you know the, the feat to prove yourself Uh, he would say there, no, there have been, how to explain it, uh, balls of giant ants floating down the river. Uh, they smell the fisherman's catch, they crawl out of the river, and just sort of take over the town for a night before moving on. Uh, yes, F floating, floating ball of ants floats down the river every once in a while. And uh, not little ants, like, like the, as tall as him and, you know, points at the goblin. Well, I mean, uh, these balls of floating ants, they, they usually just float out into the sea, but every once in a while they'll smell something a fisherman's caught and 
just sort of swarm the village. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um Uh, when I say a ball of ants, I basically mean something like this. Yeah. Uh, yep, they're about the size of you. And uh, they assume the wherever they're coming from, the the ant castle uh, must be somewhere upstream. Yeah, it'd be north. Let's see. Thing to be careful of. They're more active in the day. Uh, they're known to have some sort of venom. And uh, they eat everything. So if, uh, if they feel like they can eat you, they will do it. All right, um, uh, he kind of feels like he has officially run you guys off by giving you an assignment. What what is? And, and I'm not saying giving orders is basically useless, but you know. Anyway, so, I mean, if you want it in the castle for some reason, they've given you some sort of weird test that they don't think you're going to do. Uh, uh, basically, they just want the, the ants to stop. Uh, the... The only thing they know is that they float down river, so... Hmm... Okay. <sighs> well, I certainly hope you saved some of those chicken feet. Ah. Oh. Alright, uh no boat. Okay. Um wow, that's that's not good.
Are you absolutely sure that you want to take the boat up? Because uh, every one of these hexes is five hours worth of rowing. <laughs> Sure. All right, um, you guys do have access to more people in the ship. You just have to go back and get them and decide who's going and who's not. Did you just call me fat? Good to know. Oh, goodness. Uh, um... So who is going? Is it just you three or is it what? Is it who? Is it when? Is it why? Is it where? Is it how? Yes. I thought it was, uh, I thought, no, no, you're, you're not taking the real part. <laughs> Because it's ridiculous. Alright, um. There's, uh. There's the Lady Dwarf, uh. Battle Axe, normal. Uh. There's the Married Couple Dwarf. And then there's your human redheaded guy who makes hammocks under cows to avoid work. Forget the bird, follow the river. Um, so are you bringing Lady Dwarf with the battle axe? Alright. So, uh... Okay. The vaudeville is going. Vaudeville is ready. Uh, Boris goes. Um, Dan. Uh, I found a goblin translator. And his name is literally the one who walks over there and sits down for a while before going to sleep. And the that that's his actual name in Goblin. But uh, it's just D-A-A-N is the first word of that sentence. <laughs> so people just call him Dan. Okay, Karu, Ardag, and Kulti. Kulti's the druid. She will probably not want to kill them.
Uh, she says that they're based around uh, like a communal hive mind type thing, meaning that there is one there's one insect that they're all sort of based around. Uh, I mean, no. S saying if, if you can move her, the rest go, will go with her. What if you have an ant army of army ants? Get out of the city. Okay. Ooh, I did a thing. Nobody saw me do it. Uh, what's the margin order, do you think? Okay. Okay, so Goblin there, second line would be Artag and Palti. Spider injury would there. I'm guessing you guys are just going to be right in the middle. The magic user and the thief. Okay. move and then we got uh, Kadu which is our our single dwarf lady and uh, our tag actually made France and come along hmm what you either need to turn the sensitivity down or you need to speak louder Ah, no, no, uh, there's two dwarf ladies. No. Um, so, yeah, goblin out front, married couple second, thief, magic user in the third row. Then uh, what was supposed to bring up the back is the single dwarf lady, but then, uh, oh, what's his face? Our tag made friends and come along, and he's just sort of, dawdling at the very back. Yeah, that's him. Uh, he was a hireling fighter. But uh, he's, he's actually gone so far as to construct a hammock uh, underneath a cow so that nobody would think to look and find him there. Hmm. How do you do it? Uh, yes. But what I'm asking is how do you approach this guy? I mean, m most humans probably would try to avoid them. There's just, there is an approach that works with him. Uh, I just want to know if that's the approach you're taking. Well, I mean, uh, how are you, how are you asking him?
So you're just trying to talk him into it? Is that... Okay, no, he, he doesn't join you. <laughs> uh, he, you guys are already paying him. He's already being paid. All right, um, no, he, he just, I like, you can pull him up there with you, but he just sort of drifts back until eventually he's just, he's just back there again. That's an approach. Okay. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I feel like I've lost my mind here. Oh, Jesus. No, uh, the only thing I do uh, like that is when people ask uh, how attractive someone is, it's just a D100, and that's the percentage. So, like, or not even a percentage. Sometimes it's just, like, they ask how attractive are they, and I go, 37 attractive. I don't, I don't know what that means, but that's the answer. <laughs> but what if higher is better? <laughs> mm. Yeah. So we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait until we find a beholder and...
Hmm. Okay. Um, walking along a river. Uh, the first thing that happens is nothing. No, um, you would walk along a river, uh, on the eastern side of the river. You guys are on the west side, by the way. The castle is on the western side of the river. So as you walk north, you can see that there's a little bit of, like, marsh sled on the east side. Sort of weird. Um... <clears throat> Mostly just, just like wilderness up here. Um, how fast do you guys walk? Isn't it like your movement rate times three in miles or something? Or times two in miles? And that's per day? Come on, I know at least three of us have the actual books. Surely one of us can find this. <laughs> Yeah. I do actually forget how difficult it is to find things in there because I've had mine tabbed for so long. I've had my book, like, tabbed for all the places I need. Um, 79, page 79 is saving throws. Yep. Uh, are you on PDF or actual book? Oh, well then I do not know. It's going to be... If you look down at the bottom of the page, the page numbers, just look for 79. <laughs> sort of hilly. Uh, each one inch equals the number of miles a character or creature can travel in one half day's track. So, half a day is what? Eight hours? Uh, not half a functional day. That's like half of a 24 hour. Or tell the people who are waiting on you where you're going. No, but you've been traveling for about an hour or two, so... Which is true for him. It just says rugged terrain and then stops. Okay, and if a day... If a day is... How long is the day's travel with like stops to eat and rest and stuff? Like 16, 16 hours would be a full day, so would 12 hours be like a functional day? Okay. 
That means six. That means basically uh, taking the goblin into account. You guys move a mile an hour. Much slower. I mean, he's huffing and puffing. He's he's. It's, it's not like he's not trying. Yeah, basically. Um, hmm. Let's see. It was about midnight when you got there. So. You guys will have moved a hex and a half by the time the sun comes up. Uh, if you guys want to. I mean, but it was midnight when you landed at the castle, and you've been traveling for a couple hours, so it'll probably be around 10, 11 noon? To 11 noon is what I said. To 11 noon. Oh, wait, no, you went back to the ship to get uh, your other people, your other, like, fighters. So, yeah, you would have brought, brought food. Okay, so, um, is there any particular, there are ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, six, seven of you, how do you guys work out the watch with seven people? Remember what happened the last time you did something like that? Okay. And that's a great idea. So, uh, cannibal slaves. I feel like that's very culturally insensitive. Ah, oh, he tagged you. Wait, he backwards tagged you. That's not how that game works. All right, um, well, despite having a, an entire adventure because she let the red shirts do everything, uh, she is literally voting to let the red shirts do everything.
I have literally never acknowledged. <laughs> I have literally never acknowledged a, a challenge to my authority, therefore I am unquestioned. But it, it's an eating tool, right? Would you like to go higher with the question? Spearman chip. Totally. Oh, do you mean evolved? That's how I know that a game has found its footing. Okay, things are going to be okay. We're making fun of you. <laughs> All right, um... So, right, I started I started sorting my dice and actually lost track of what we were doing, except for saying the word toad over and over. Uh, no, I remembered what it was. It was, uh, I need to do this. Okay. Well, the good news is nothing bad happens overnight. Uh, I don't know, you guys want to come back and see attack a giant ant hive? Or more likely look at a giant ant hive and go, no. You know what the coolest part about this is? Or uh, the coolest part of uh, friggin' Spelljammer? It can literally happen from anywhere. Like, you guys could wander into a Spelljammer game from here. Oh, in Pith Helmets? Definitely. But anyway, that's, that's the cool part about this is... It can happen anywhere. Why do you guys want to get into that castle? Ah. Okay, that is that is a trick I need to remember for later. <laughs> if there's something important enough to the story, just tell you guys you can't go to it. <laughs> All right. probably have to decide again what yeah also i mean we could actually find people to fill in the the gaps and actually have like a uh my magic number tends to be six but i don't know yeah like 
That'd be perfect. I, I don't know. Uh, my policy is just have a girl. It just sort of cuts down on the amount of time people spend trying the same thing over and over. I, I don't either. I, that's just something I've like noticed is that if 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 it's all one gender or the other, eventually people get caught in a loop of like trying one thing that's not working over and over and over. But if it's like a group of different people, like. That doesn't happen as often. Well, it's uh, options. Do something vampire. Like we went out and got like two sets of D10s and just haven't done anything vampire since then. Yes, but we're not normal vampire people, so... Yeah, do you know the name Vampire... Yep. Yeah... I mean, I'm... Yeah, uh, there's a Dark Ages. I, I'm, I'm liking the world. I don't know what the hell's happening in it, but I'm liking the world so far. Requiem. Oh my god, it literally introduces the idea that the book is lying to you, like the. The fifth page in, it's like, this book will lie to you. And then it proceeds to give you, like, th three or four alternate takes for everything after that. Oh, yeah. Well, they kill vampires. Well, uh, first there's uh, sightings of something in the area, and then vampires die, and then Roman numerals are left there. And that's... <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, there was something I specifically wanted to see what you thought of. I want to make an impossible city. Like one that's on the coast, but also borders mountains and swamp and desert. And is built around like a, 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 like a place of power essentially 
like uh, people have been making sacrifices and doing stuff like that at that spot for like millennia and like uh, civilizations form around it just because people are drawn to it but that's sort of what's at the heart of the city and then there's just like a bunch of impossible stuff so it's just sort of one of those like anything could be in it type cities <laughs> Yeah, a little bit like that, except it would be in it would be in the real world, just not in a set location. <laughs> like that 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 is actually the setting that occurred to me while I was reading the Requiem book. Just an impossible city that just goes on forever and borders every type of environment. Hmm. Yeah, I, I I get excited about new things. Hmm. Okay. Um. Uh. Before I stop, I should write down that uh. Walking to giant ant mound to gain access to asshole castle um uh oh the general feeling is that you didn't want to meet with you at all. You think it's just the, you think it's just the old guy who's like being a gatekeeper? Okay. I mean, technically, the goblin would be from this area. Just like you would have gotten separated from your your clan and ended up on that island. <laughs> so the two the two humans know about like an emperor. Uh, you just know that you were you're on a boat with lots of good stuff to eat. Like, basically, you hang out with the cows and other livestock and just eat the, the, the candies that they produce. I want some excuse to use the skill-based spellcasting. So bad. Ugh. All right, um, is there anything else we should record? Anything you guys want to remember? Because none of you will remember anything about this except that it happened next week. Okay. All right.
Yes, okay. <sighs> I want to do something vampire. I keep getting books for it, but nothing ever happens. Uh, got books for the Bali clan tribe part, but... It starts off with the story of the priest and the little kid, so... I... It, it, it was a... It, it was at that point that I realized, oh, I, I need, I need more mental energy for this book. <laughs> mm. um. I also found a book that is just all the outcasts of all the different story systems. Yeah, um, Caitiff, so the, the vampire outcasts, and werewolf outcasts, and, yeah, uh, I think the other one is Poltergeist, or whatever it is. It says hollow ones. Oh, it's mage? Okay, well then it's mage. Uh, vampires, were vampires, werewolves, and mages. All, all about the sort of, uh, like, lone wolf types of those groups. I don't know, you're going to have to explain to me the mage, because I've, I've had the book for a while, I can't get it to make any kind of sense to me. Um, do you know anything about the new version of Mage? Because we keep seeing that book. I, I saw it for 16 bucks the other day, and it was so hard to leave behind, but, like, no, yeah, that one. Well, I mean, it's for the new world, right? New World of Darkness? Do something a vampire. Okay. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, here's a question. How bored do you get? Just in general. Okay. Well, no, uh, I'm asking just in general, do you usually have things, are you usually busy? <laughs> okay. Because we might randomly ask you if you want to join whatever random thing we're doing. And if you're usually busy, then that would mostly just be bothering you, so.
Yeah. I'm not sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Ugh. All right. I'm going to end the stream thingy. Because. Just because. Bye, stream.